everybody, Mrs. Bachelor here, formerly Miss Seymour, um, but please call me Mrs. Bachelor now, not that I always answer to it, because sometimes I forget it's my name, but for those of you who know me, you all know that I'm not good with names anyway, so it shouldn't be a surprise, I'm terrible at my own. Um, welcome to band, um, I'm not quite sure who all's in the room at the moment, because, well, I don't have class lists, and I'm making this about a week before your class. Um, let's get started. I'm doing this video for both band seven and eight because you guys have more in common than the band six program and I don't have to talk about all the beginning details with you. Um, if you're brand new to our school and our program, ask your friends, come to the meeting Tuesday night, we will get you all sorted out. So that said, um, we're just going to run through the web page and discuss some of the different things that are happening this year and some exciting ideas for next year for the grade nines and of course those of you going into eight, it'll be exciting too. But we're at a really fun part in our program where we get to make some decisions about what it's going to look like for future kids. So um, the decisions and trips and things we plan this year are going to make a big difference in the future. So I'm, I'm excited to be doing this with you guys. As always, we have a virtual handbook. Um, we also have an app this year for your parents. It won't help you. Google Classroom will help you. Um, but we will get to all of that. So I'm going to pop over to the um, concert band, concert dress page first just to double check you guys know what that looks like. Um, band 8 performs a whole lot more than Band 7 does, but regardless of which grade you're in, even grade 6, you know, black below the waist, white above. See, sharp dressed man here, all right. Um, or other options. Now, the only thing I request is if you are wearing a skirt that you wear um, leggings or opaque tights. This is to keep you safe and to protect you from people who are watching. Um, if you're sitting on the stage, we don't need people seeing up your dress. So, yeah, it's not a, a big deal, like to put on some opaque tights, I hope, so please do. Um, especially at festival with the stage lights, you can see right through everything, so that we don't need. Um, we want them to focus on our performance, not how we look. And that's another thing about the uniform, right? It's just like being on a sports team, we all have the same uniform. So that isn't new to you. Um, instrument supplies, I don't think there's anything here that's new to you, so I'm just going to keep moving. Let's look at the Band 7 page first. I'm on my phone, so it's loading a little bit slowly. There we go. Okay, so what will you learn in grade seven band? Well, or grade eight band, or any band? Well, we're going to be working on learning to play our instruments better, learning to listen to each other and perform more musically, and we're going to hopefully have a lot of fun working really hard. It's like being on a sports team, right? Some practices are good, some are hard work, right? But it pays off. So let's talk about requ uh, required supplies because, well, nothing really like revolutionary here, but some changes um, in how we're going to keep track of some of this. So um, you need your instrument and its related supplies. Um, if you can have your instrument for our second class, which I believe is Wednesday or Thursday, depending on who you are, that would be absolutely amazing. If you've brought your instrument to school today, um, there was an email that went home, so you should have known to do that to bring it for class. Um, please make sure you get a piece of masking tape. You put your first name and initial on it, last initial. Um, put your grade in brackets or your home room um, and then I need you to put it in a cupboard and I need you to record that on the sheet. I believe it's on a pink clipboard. It might be on a teal clipboard. I don't know, but it's on a clipboard on the substitute teachers or pardon me, guest teachers supply table back by my desk. We need to know where things are, right? Um, you probably noticed some instruments along the wall under the wall of musical knowledge bulletin board. Um, those are grade six instruments. Don't touch them you guys get priority on the cupboard. Um, if you have a flute or clarinet, uh, please keep those in your locker. But everything else should be able to kept, be kept in the band room. Um, we may have to move some of the shelves around. So if stuff doesn't fit, just put it off to the side with the six stuff. And when I get back next week, or tomorrow, or whatever it is in your world timeline-wise, we'll sort that all out then. But it is really important that you write down where you put things. Um, because like when you're sick and your parents come to pick up your instrument, then I can find them. Or if you say you can't find your instrument, at least we have a starting point. Um, and I think everybody should have an instrument. If you don't and you still need to rent one um, from St. John's or Long McQuaid, you can do that online. The links are on this page as well. Um, or you can come Tuesday night and rent it from St. John's and have it delivered probably around a week or so from now. It will be better or faster for your parents at this point just to go into the store, right? They have so many instruments in stock, they'll just put one in your hands. Now, that said, if you rent tubas from me usually or tenor saxes or bass clarinets, well, because I don't have class lists, I don't know who needs them, but I did have the grade six names, so I assigned all of them. I have lots of other instruments left, don't worry. 
unless you play the bass clarinet, <laughs> then I'm going to be scrambling. Um, but we'll figure it out. Um, I have a couple berry saxes that are up for grabs this year, too. If you're looking to play a little bit of a bigger instrument, make a little bit of a different sound, um, we can talk about that. But typically, you'd have a contract in your hand today, and the reason you don't is because... I don't have the information I need to fill it out. So on Wednesday, when I get back, the first day back, I would like to play. Um, but honestly, I think we're going to just have a lot of like this kind of stuff to deal with, right? So we'll get your binders set up. Hopefully we'll get your name tags on instruments. I got better name tags this year. They're not going to fall off. They don't have stupid buckles. I got better name tags. Um, live and learn, right? Um, you get a new binder. Right? Every year you'll get a new binder. Thank you to those of you who kept yours in such good shape throughout the year last year, though. Um, I think it worked better than folders. Um, so instruments, supplies, reeds. So uh, reed instruments, make sure you have some reeds. Um, my grade eights, if you are buying reeds, please buy a 3, not a 2.5 for hardness. All right. Um, and grade sevens, clarinet players, you might find a 3 a little bit easier for getting into the higher notes. So um, consider that when you're making your purchase. Most of you are probably ready to move up to a three. Same with my alto saxes in grade seven. Um, oboes are on medium softs. So that should be good. What else am I thinking? Oh, um, plastic reeds are great. Uh, they're really expensive, like $40, $50 a piece, but it'll last you the whole year. So if your uh, parents are wanting to look into that and have some questions, um, ask the St. John's guy about it, or you can ask me. Um, I'm going to be playing on a plastic reed this year on my clarinet. Not that it's going to make me sound any better, because I'm so look forward to that. Um, but I want to get better at it. So I'm going to squeak and squawk with you a bit. Um, yeah, so supplies. Valve oil, you should have all that. Um, if you run out of valve oil, which you shouldn't, because I'm telling you, I'm almost 50 years old, and I'm on my second bottle in my lifetime. How do you use a whole bottle in a year? Okay, anyways, that's a whole other side quest. But if you need it, I have it. Um, it'll just be added to school cash. All right, so if you do need supplies, I don't have enough that I can give you reads all the time when you need them, but I have enough for once in a while. Foldable music stand. Please get one for home. Um, practice challenges this year are for marks. We'll get there uh, further in this conversation. But heads up, it's a lot easier to play with good posture when you have a foldable music stand and you don't have to tape it to the back of your little brother. Besides, your brother might run away. Okay, a pencil. Look at the word after it. Every class. We will always start with a written thing, 30 seconds of it, right? We will always be writing stuff in our music throughout the year. Those of you who've had me before know I'll look at the end of a song and go, that's stupid, I don't like it, take out your pencils, we're changing it. Okay, you need a pencil. You're not going to be as successful if you're not able to write stuff down. So I'm going to tie that to a mark this year. You need to have your pencils. I will have some in the room. You'll see them hanging up by the door when you come in there on a piece of burlap. Those are the ones for the elementary school kids, but in a moment of desperation, you could probably borrow one. But there's no reason you can't squish a pencil in your case. Right? Even a flute case, you can find a place for a pencil. So, And we're going to have plastic, one plastic, like, um, sheet protector, that's what they're called. Um, and you can probably keep your pencil in there, right? But you need a pencil. Pencil. It's going to be a thing this year. All right, Google Classroom, also a thing. So Google Classroom is important for two reasons. One, it's where I post assignments, like your weekly practice challenges. Um, and two, it's where your parents can see what you've handed in and what you haven't. I'm only going to upgrade PowerSchool with marks once a month. I have over 500 students this year. It's the most I've had in mm, too long. Um, so me doing marks every two weeks isn't happening. Um, I'd like to say it is, but I won't lie to you. Once a month. So um, that means if you're not doing your weekly practice challenges and your parents are just watching PowerSchool, they're not going to know. So it's going to be up to you to check that you've turned it in on Google Classroom so your parents can track that sort of thing, because PowerSchool is not the way to do that. So our Google Classroom is going to be a little bit more important this year for that. Um, I also have a website that I'm going to um, attach to said Google Classroom that's going to have all our play-alongs. And we might try and keep our notes up to date on it, like sort of what you missed each practice, but... I'm ADHD. I have great ideas. I may not stick to that one. Probably won't. Seems like a good idea, though, right? I should do that. But I'm tired. I might not. So, assessment. Okay. As always, I assess you throughout the year. Things go in power school. Anybody can get a mastery in music if they're working hard and, and doing their best. Um, lots of performance assessments. As per usual, I have you play for the class sometimes, your scales or whatever. Um, 
yeah, performance-based and your concert mark, right? That'll go in there. Festivals, that'll go in there. Written assessments. About every six weeks, we're going to have a quick little quiz based on the big brain check-ins we do every day. There'll be some mad minutes for note naming in there, that kind of stuff, right? So there is some written. Um, your weekly practice challenges. They are going to be for a mark this year, right? Um, not always like a mastery progressive whatever. They may just be a collected mark. So yes, you did it, but it will show up in power school. And if you're not doing it, your mark's going to drop. It's impossible to get a mastery if you're not doing the practice challenges. Okay? Sorry. Not sorry. I need you to practice. I don't need you to practice 7 million hours a week. 15 minutes three times a week. That would be enough. You need to make sure you have 15, 20 minutes set aside in your life for your practice challenge. Percussion, they're going to be geared this year that you can do them at home. Um, most of the time. And if you can't, you know, lunch hours are available. Um, this year, I have supervision outside with you guys during your lunch hour on Thursdays and Fridays. So that means only Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday during lunch recess when you would typically go outside, you can come into the band room and practice if you like. Um, also before schools, I'm there at 7.30 most days. After schools, I am there Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays till at least 4.30 if not 5. Um, the room will be busy, but the practice rooms will not. Right? So there's options, right, if you don't want to take your tuba home. Although this year, I'm really hoping it looks this way. It looks like I have enough tubas that you can have one at home and one at school. So that, that will make your practice challenges easier right there. Okay. Um, we're not going to go through the general outcomes. You're going to learn to play your instrument better. You're going to learn more notes that are higher and lower. You're going to learn more cool things. That's all that's on there. Um, we can read it later. Okay, let's talk about some events and things that are happening this year that you need to know about. The first is on Tuesday, September 17th. So I believe for grade 8, that's tonight, and grade 7, that's tomorrow night. Um, it's important your parents come because there are some things on the agenda that impact you guys, not just this year, but next year. So at 6 o'clock, we're going to open the doors. Um, the grade 6s are going to come into the gym and have their parent meeting. You guys can go and rent instruments from St. John's if you need to. If you don't need to rent an instrument, don't come till 6.30. Okay, but be there for or your parents. Make sure they're there for 630. We're going to be in the gym and we're going to talk about a whole bunch of stuff. I'm going to go over the handbook with them again and the concert dress and all that, blah, blah, blah. But we are also going to talk about fundraising, which I need input on because I, nobody likes fundraising, but we need to do it. So I'm going to need some help with that from your families. And then um, we're going to talk about trips. So, yeah, we'll get to that as we keep moving through this. Okay. Please come Tuesday night. Okay, your guys' first field trip for both grade 7 and grade 8 is on November the 5th. We are going to Mount Royal University for the day. We're going to have small group lessons, and we're going to spend some time with the guest conductor. Um, this is because it's happening November 5th because... Oh, I'm on the grade 7 page, so it doesn't say it. I'll go to the grade 8 page for a minute. Loop. Okay, grade 8 page. Look, see, it's all the same stuff. Okay. <laughs> oh, we'll come back to you guys, too. The Remembrance Day performance. Okay, so right now in my brain, the grade 8s are playing because the grade 8s have always played. Oh, Canada and another song. But if our numbers are small, like less than 15 people, um, we may add some grade 7s. We may have the 7s play with us. Um, we, okay, so Canada and another piece. So 7s, um, you're on deck. <laughs> You'll be learning the music just in case we decide you're the right group to join us. Um, but otherwise, 8s, this is you. This is your first big performance of the year. But the first thing that the grade 8s have is actually coming up real quick. We do lots of mentorship for the older kids in the building. You're helping my younger kids, right? Um, so October 2nd, after school, I expect the grade 8s to stay. Grade 7s, if there's a few of you who'd like to volunteer, come and let me know. I'm, I can always use more hands. Um, if you're a grade 7 student or a grade 8 student who is switching instruments this year, you need to be here. You will be here as a student, not as a helper. Okay? Um, even if you play another instrument first. All right, if you are switching instruments or you are new to band, you need to come to Squeak and Squawk. Super important. All right, so this is when we put you guys in groups with, with professionals. Last year, our trumpet player, our trumpet teacher, she plays with the Calgary Philharmonic. Right, like these are big name people. So you're going to get the best first lessons ever. Right, so um, as grade eights who are mentoring, you're going to be there to be second set of hands. So if they're trying to get reads on clarinets and things, right, you can help them with that. Um, you're going to help me with... Um, yeah, just handing stuff out and, you know, being useful because you can do that. Um, grade sevens who want to help, same thing. But if you're there to perform, you're going to learn to put your instrument together. You're going to learn a few notes. You're going to learn some, some just some really good tips. Okay, then we're going to Mount Royal and Remembrance Day. Hmm. 
Day after Remembrance Day is my wedding, by the way. That'll be fun for me. Okay, uh, band concert December 10th, 6 p.m. Okay, all our concerts start at 6. I decided I'm just going to have them all start at the same time so that when people ask me, I don't have to think about it. So you have to be here 5.30, concert dress. We do a couple performances during the day. Um, this, unless you're new to our building, this shouldn't be new to you. If you are new to our building, don't worry. We'll talk to you about it lots in advance. Um, our biggest fundraiser of the year last year was the band Christmas Market. We're going to do this again this year. Um, you guys are responsible for providing the entertainment, and it is for Marks. So we don't do a lot of Christmas music at the winter concert because we're not a... Christianity has a whole thing on Christian, uh, Christmas, right? Like, it's, it's a religious holiday. Um, although there are many, 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 many more people who celebrate it as a secular holiday with Santa and the whole bit. So we tend not to do too much Christmas at the winter concert. So there will be a Christmas song, but, right, like, it's more about music. The Christmas market is where people come when they want to hear Christmas carols. And you are going to play them in small groups. Last year, I had a lot of fun at it. I played the baritone, I played the trumpet, I played the piano. I'm going to play with you guys, and we're going to have a really fun evening. But um, what evening that is, is a surprise. We will have that date for you shortly. Um, okay, if I flipped back to the grade 7 page, which I'm not going to do, on January 22nd, you guys have a field trip. We're going to Studio Bell. That's the annual grade 7 trip from now on. It's super fun. We're going to see all sorts of famous people stuff and things and run around. And It's a cool building. It's a field trip. Um, both bands, you're competing this year. Standards are high because last year you did so well. Um, so we're, we're excited to be back. Um, they're excited to have us back, which makes me a little nervous. It's like, oh, we can't wait to see what you bring this year. So no pressure. No, it'll be fine. This is a non compet music festival, meaning we play against a rubric. So everybody could get gold, everybody could get silver. But there's only one gold with distinction award. And last year that our, was our grade 8 band. They won that against high school groups. So... It was uh, it was highlight of my career. I've wanted to do that for years and years, is have a group be that successful. So um, that's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to be successful. And it happens the either the Monday or the Tuesday. I don't get dates till probably January. Um, after the break with Teachers Convention, which is kind of crazy. Okay, so we were talking about festival. So hopefully I edit it out. Otherwise, you get to watch me trying to plug in my phone. Oh my goodness, it's late at night and I'm getting surgery in the morning, so I'm just trying to get this done for you guys. So I apologize for the, well, it's not my best work for as far as polish. But anyways, the information is what is important. So the festival's a big deal for us. Um, we're going to start practicing the music for it real early. And uh, yeah, it's a fun day. Um, this year, the grade eights, I need you guys to do um, a show for me. On the 20th of March at 6, you're just going to come and play um, a song at the end of the grade 4 or 5 concert. This is because with the changes in districts and where kids come from for school, um, our band recruiting will only be within our building now, which is actually kind of nice. I mean, having to go to Cooper's and that was a lot of work. So we'll just be doing it in the building, but this gives us an opportunity to really get the kids excited about it. And one of the things about band is, unless you're in band, you don't know how awesome it is. Right? It's, it's like a sports team. Unless you play, you don't know how great, you don't know what you're missing. And a lot of the families um, don't know what they're missing. And so I thought it'd be really smart for the grade 5 parents, not just the grade 5s, to get excited about band. So here we go. We'll do that. Um, that's March. Okay. Um, then in May, this is grade 8. This is your overnight trip. We are going to go to Red Deer. Um, whether we're staying in hotels or sleeping on a gym floor... I'm still working out the details on that because we are really restricted on how much I can spend. It can only cost $156 per kid, even if we fundraise. I don't make these rules. I really don't like these rules. I'm going to continue to argue with the school board about this, but um, this is why it's so important that we get going on the grade 9 stuff now because then we can decide how much we are allowed to budget for things. Um, this decision was made before I was hired, so I had no say, but I would have told them, we should be able to spend up to $300 because there's no way I can do much with less. But we're going to figure it out and we're going to lobby the board to raise the fee rate so that we can actually like afford to stay in hotels and things. Um, we will fundraise for this as well. There'll be a second fundraiser. We'll decide that on Tuesday night. But this is our big trip. Instead of a band camp, we're going to go on a trip, a small trip. Okay, spring concert. This is both of you groups um, and everybody, of course, June 4th. 
And, uh, yeah, that'll be happening. We know what that is like. And then my grade eights, you're going to help me get the next year's grade sixes, picking instruments and helping me do all of that kind of stuff. So tons of stuff happening this year. Super busy. And I'm pretty sure I haven't even told you at all. So there's some other opportunities. Um, provincials. Last year we had three kids go. I think we had four the year before. Um, they tend to pick a few kids from our school. Um, they know we make good musicians. And so that's, that makes me happy. Um, so I'll definitely be putting nominations in. That happens in November. I'm allowed to nominate five kids. So if you're one of the five, you'll get a paper in November. Um, the Provincial Honor Band is a lot of fun. You can ask the kids who've gone before. It's in Calgary again this year, so there's no travel for your parents. It makes it cheaper. Um, awesome. Um, we get scholarships from different groups over the year because we do so much fun stuff. They want our kids to come and play in their groups. So we'll have the Calgary Roundup Band coming to try and recruit you if you want information about cadets. I have all that stuff. So come and see me if you want more information on how to make music in other places. On a side note, um, I might run an after-school drop-in rock band on Mondays. Thinking about it. Let me know what you think about that. It'd be loud. I don't know. I want to learn to play the bass. Anyways. <laughs> so I'm thinking about it. All right. Um, yeah, so that's what's happening this year. Let's talk about what we need for class. We already did this on the other web page, I think. And the classroom. My mind. Sorry, it's been a long day. Yeah, we've talked about all this. Okay. So a uh, couple of routine things. Um, we're going to go back to Popsicle Sticks for attendance. Um, please explain to the new people what that means. <laughs> so basically it means we're going to have your names on sticks. I'll dump them out by the door there on that table. You put your stick, but nobody else's, just yours, in the jar to show you're here. I can grab the sticks that are left over and I can do attendance real quick. Um, we're going to do some of the procedures around cleanup a little bit differently um, for accountability. Um, you guys are going to be in charge of making sure stuff is put away a little bit more this year. Um, I, I, you know, I had those fun parking tickets that we never used. We're going to use them this year. So um, you guys get to take a turn being... I, 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 can we come up with a cool name for it? Like, you know, music law enforcement doesn't make sense. Parking patrol. Basically, the person's job is make sure everyone puts their chairs and stands away. Make sure the floor is swept up or um, on the carpet there, that there's no major garbage in the room, and that instruments are put on the shelves. So um, you're going to be the one who gets to help hand out some of those consequences to your friends if they're not doing those things, right? Um, and we can brainstorm and figure out what that looks like exactly, but first of all, I need a good name for it. So if you can think of a fun name for that role, I'm open to it. Um, concert attendance is a must. We've talked about that briefly. Um, the after-school commitment in this program is not huge, um, so that'll be helpful, right? It's squeak and squawk for the eights, the evening concerts for all of you. Sometimes festival runs into the evening. Grade eights, you have an overnight trip, right? But other than that, it doesn't impact your other lives that much. Um, yeah. We are going to, did I talk about assessment? I can't even remember now. I think I did. But yeah, pencils and things being a mark, yes, I did. Okay. So just to wrap it up then, uh, making sure you're labeling stuff if you're leaving instruments in the room today. Um, you guys can put your stuff on shelves. Just write down which shelf it went on so it's really obvious for me on that clipboard. Um, yeah, I think that covers most of it. I'm sure there's things it doesn't. And I'm not there to actually answer any questions, so sorry. Um, oh, uh, parent communication. There's an app coming out, but for you for email. Um, if you're emailing Mrs. Bachelor. My email is still Miss Seymour. <laughs> also, if you're emailing it from the Google page, the RVS website, I don't check that email very often. So you're going to want to make sure you're emailing me at the Rocky View, not the RVS address. Um, that will make sure I get your messages in a timely fashion. Um, lots of opportunity for parent volunteers, grandparent volunteers. Please encourage your parents to come to the meeting. Um, yeah. It's going to be a really good year. I've picked some really cool new music. I had a lot of fun picking out new music this year for you guys. Uh, I can't wait till Mrs. Sobby sees how much I spent. Anyways, music's expensive, but I've got some really fun stuff. Um, I haven't picked out our pop songs yet, so if there's a pop piece that you really want to play, keep it in mind. Um, I'll take some, some ideas on that. I know last year with the sevens we voted, and then it was backordered and we never got it. But uh, we'll try and actually put the piece we choose in our hands this year. But, I mean, I've ordered things like Star Wars for the grade sevens right off the bat. I know. Oh, I can't even remember. I bought so much music. Anyways, it's going to be awesome. 
I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. We are going to challenge ourselves. We're going to improve lots. That's the other thing, recruitment for you guys this year. Um, grade eights, go find people, bring more people in. Um, if they didn't take band in grade seven, but they did in grade six and they're hardworking people, they can come, right? We'll figure this out. Next year, we're actually going to have a beginner band again in grade seven um, because we're getting all these new kids in. So we've got some weird things happening over the next couple years. That's what I didn't talk to you about, grade nine trips. Um, so um, grade nine trips, we need to get approval like in January. So we need to decide where we want to go right away. So there's the option of like a Banff trip for a couple of days. Um, we could go to maybe the Kamloops area or we could go to Whistler for a festival. Those are sort of what I'm looking at. Um, these trips are quite a bit more expensive just because of transportation right off the top. So we are going to have to start fundraising this year. So if you have friends who are like, oh, I'll come back and band in grade nine and I'll go on the trip. No. <laughs> so you have to be in band in grade eight to go in grade nine. So maybe tell your friends that as well. Um, that's just, and, and some of the stuff is going to take us two years to prepare, right? If we're going to go to a festival at Whistler, it's one of the biggest festivals in Canada. Yeah, we're going to bring our A game. So, um, yeah. And I know I talk a big game about winning and stuff because I'm, but those of you who know me know it's about the journey, right? I'm a practice makes progress person. Please make mistakes. I'm going to make mistakes. Um, yeah, it's how we learn. So it's going to be a lot of fun, I hope. Um, a lot of work, but a lot of fun. Please bring your friends. And I will see you all Wednesday. I should be back, hopefully, if the surgery goes well tomorrow. Um, or And Tuesday night for the meeting. I, I plan to be at least there in person to talk to your parents. So email me if you have questions at the Rocky View email address. Otherwise, I leave you in the capable hands of your guest teacher. And you have some written activities to do to kind of you know, get back into thinking about reading music and that kind of stuff, right? Summer's over. Time to work. Please bring your instruments. I'd really like to play next class, but we'll see how long it takes us to hand out music and sort out where instruments go. Big instruments. Um, hopefully I'll have contracts for you Wednesday as well. So keep fighting the good fight. I will see you when I get back.